Hello, everyone, and welcome, welcome, welcome to my freak show. <laughs> oh, guys, I am so excited, and I know I'm not the only one. What's up, Poopsie? So glad to see you. I know I'm, I'm so excited, too. Okay, before we get into it, we're going to celebrate a little bit. I don't care if YouTube takes my algorithm down because of it. Just in case anybody wants to know what it is. Okay. We have AHS Delegate Part 2 trailer. I should have said cheers first and then good news and bad news about it though. Hi, Jared. Good to see you. I'm so glad to see you. Thank you very much for being here. Ryan, as usual, Ryan, thank you for joining my live streams. I really appreciate it. No cooks. This is, this is mommy's juice, not yours. And Cooksy hears that I'm saying hi to everybody. So Cooks is saying hi to everybody. Cooks, you want to say hi? my baby okay you go lay down thank you baby hey thomas great to see you thank you so much for being here okay guys cheers part two ahs delicate came out today came out earlier today uh what was it like about noon or something maybe it was 11 or something like that but all i know is I saw it about like noon or something, and I was just so excited. Hello, Blaze. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you being here as well. Thank you. Okay. I want to look at the trailer with you guys. However, here's what I'm worried about. I am having audio issues. For some reason, Google does not put out audio, okay? So I can't fix it. I have no, I've, it's been a problem now for maybe six months that I've been trying to get Google to actually output the audio. I've done every kind of help thing to do. It didn't work. So I wanted you guys to see the trailer with me. However, I, I think it's not going to actually play the audio so that's the one thing I'm really worried about is that once I play it, you guys won't hear the audio. So let me go on ahead and play it. It's only just a minute and 18 seconds long. If you guys can hear it, that's great. Um, if you can't, then for some reason, yeah, then because of that audio malfunction, I'm, I do have my phone. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Yes, I know. I, 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 I know cooks. I, I know sweetheart. Yes. Thank you. I love you too, sweet baby. Okay. Um, here's somebody's, this one isn't mine, but that's okay. I can absolutely do that. I know you want to see part two again, the trailer again. I do too. And I know they do too. So why don't you go lay down? I can show it to them. Okay. You go lay down. You, you go lay down. You go lay down. You go lay down. Oh, my. Cooks is going to knock everything over. <laughs> okay. Here we are. I absolutely encourage you guys to go see it, to go for yourself. You can look on my channel. You can look on anybody's. Just, baby, I know. Please go lay down. Please go lay down. Thank you. But this is the only way I can think of watching it without... No, 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 no. Go back. Go back, cooks. Halt and go back. Come on. Go. Good boy. This is the only way I can think of for us to actually kind of see it together. So, again, I think FX has it up. I have it up on my channel. And I think Rotten Tomatoes has it up on their channel, too. So you can definitely... Check it. The one that I'm actually watching it on right now is FX Networks. So, again, guys, I'm so sorry. Usually, I would just screen share and we would do it that way. I'm sorry. It's 
I'm sorry it's so unprofessional right now, but I'm going to make do with what I can. Kit is back with part two. FX's AHS Delicate is back with part two. Something's happening to me. Are you eating a bone? I'm in a good place for you guys to see it. I'm going to give you the life of your dreams. <laughs> what would you give up for it? Anything. Don't have reflection. Congratulations, Anna. I can't keep campaigning for this award. I can't. I will not let you say another word about quitting. <laughs> okay. I wanted to warn you before it's too late. Before what's too late? What's wrong with Sarah? Sometimes you have to snap a few necks. You seem to think you've done this all by yourself. Okay, so again, I apologize about how unprofessional that was. But again, because I'm having audio problems, I can't screen share with you guys where you can hear the trailer. So anyway, that was, I've watched that trailer at least 30 times today, not going to lie. Now, I can't actually screen share this with you guys because... Screen share because I've been actually working on it. Oh, wow. It won't let me. Won't let me screen share what I've got right here. What? Okay. Let's do this one. And then let's see. Is that still? Nope, it is not. Darn it. I had the pictures. Okay. What this dream is for some reason so crazy. I cannot believe that this is not working for me. I'm so upset that it won't even screen share what I've put in. Um, okay. So I'll just talk about my notes then that I have because I had images. I had images. I, I spent literally four hours today from noon to four o'clock going through the trailer and screenshotting every picture, every image that there was. I was going to go through it with you guys. So I sincerely apologize for some reason. It will not let me screen share with, oh, Blaze, I wish I could restart the live. Yeah, no, it's not going to sadly work like that. <laughs> I wonder... So I guess what I'm going to do then anyway is I'm going to make a video about the images that I took every single one of them. And then let's just go over some notes because I am really excited about this. Okay, so my notes right here. First off, I want to give a huge shout out to my channel member, Blaze. Thank you so much, Blaze, for your support. And everybody, of course, who supports the channel by either liking, commenting, subscribing, or just leaving a nice word or joining Patreon or whichever. Everything you guys are doing to help me, I sincerely appreciate and thank you for. And which that reminds me, I'm going to be putting out a lot more content in the next two weeks, but I'm going to talk about that at the end of the information with the trailer. So again, for the new people who have just joined, cheers, because we're having a good time tonight in our kids' cups, okay? <laughs> Okay, I want to give my first impressions on this trailer. Firstly, I enjoyed it. Absolutely. MJ Rodriguez was, oh, she was freaky. I mean, she was really creepy freaky. I mean, there were a lot of things about the trailer that I enjoyed. However, it revealed way too much. I mean, am I, <laughs> I don't know. I know I'm not the only hardcore AHS lover, you know in the in the room so to speak so 
you guys know me. I know you guys probably looked through every image like I did. You listened to everything like I did. And you got a lot of spoilers. <laughs> so I do want to warn you guys that if you haven't watched the trailer and you don't want to be spoiled, don't watch the, tra the trailer. Just know it's going to get good. But Or just watch the trailer and just don't look too close. <laughs> Just don't look too close and you'll survive the trailer without really being spoiled. Because I know the first time I saw it, I didn't look too close and it didn't reveal too much. And then I had a comment from one of my channel subscribers that indicated that they felt that the show just revealed too much in the trailer. And I thought, well, I wonder what makes them think that. And that's when I went back and screenshotted every single image that they showed us and realized, oh, Son of a gun. Son. Okay, I got a drink for this. Hang on. Woo! It's a nice Merlot. It's very smooth. It's very sweet. I love it. It's called Spellbound. I showed it at the beginning of the episode. If you guys want to go back and see it there, you can. But that's what I'm drinking. So I want to warn you guys, when we're going to talk about this, this is going to spoil you. And if you don't want to be spoiled, don't watch it. However, I'm wondering if some of these were visions. Remember from Apocalypse when Cordelia was taken down by the Apocalypse radiation zombies or whatever? She was killed in the trailer. And we were like, what the hell? And I even did a video on it like, is this real or fake? I didn't want to spoil it for people, but I just had to put in there, is Cordelia's fate true or false and and it ended up that it was just a vision so but cordelia is still spoiler for apocalypse she still did die so even though she died in the trailer not the way she died in the show she still died that it still showed her death and it really feels like the show has done the same no oh baby i right cookie totally agrees so Let's break down this actual trailer. So this is going to be a little bit longer of a live stream. If you guys are enjoying it, please make sure you like. And if you want to take it another step further, subscribe. I'd greatly appreciate it. In the first scene, Anna and Siobhan are actually sitting in a restaurant and they're eating together. And Anna is wearing a certain dress. And I believe that this is the one for the first episode because it's the one she's wearing later in the art opening, which is what I believe episode six represents from the opening is Dex's art opening with Siob um, Siobhan, uh, Sonia. So, okay, going back to the first scene of the trailer. Oh, baby, I'm sorry. I'm starting to kind of lose my place in my thinking because I keep patting you and giving you love. Can you go sit down for me? I mean, sit down over there. Uh, yes, I know. I got, I got my hand. I know. Go lay down in your bed. I made it extra soft. Go lay down. Go lay down. Thank you. Okay, so back to that first scene in the trailer. Anna and Siobhan are eating um, like a brunch or something. And Anna says something is happening to her as she eats a literal bone. I mean, this bitch must have uh, teeth from Death Valley, um, Red Tide, excuse me, because Anna just literally just crunched that bone in half like it was just a stalk of celery or a carrot or a chunk of broccoli. I mean, she had no <laughs> problem that must have either been some real dried bone or that chick got her teeth sharpened by lark from red tide so but she eats a literal bone right in front of siobhan and then it flashes to uh, siobhan telling anna that she's going to give her the life of her dreams and then we get anna and images she's laying uh floating in a pool and she's having hallucinations about the baby busting out of her. And guys, I got to say, I really loved the image with Anna in the pool and she's laying out. It is giving It Follows vibes. And I loved it. I'm here for it. <laughs> we also are finally going to see the infamous scene from the novel, Delicate Condition. <clears throat> Excuse me. Where Anna hallucinates that the she's in the bathtub and Anna hallucinates that the baby busts out of her stomach. But I'm going to kind of wonder maybe if that's real because of later on in, in the trailer, because it might be actually real. Um, but like I said, it was just totally giving It Follows vibes and just hope that it does happen. Where 
the baby bursts out of Anna's body like a chest buster from Alien. I'm not going to lie. I would so enjoy that. Okay, the trailer then moves to Siobhan asking Anna what she would do to win an Oscar. Now, I loved that section because Anna's wearing this beautiful dress and Siobhan and Anna are sitting what it is like in a theater of an award show. And Anna says that she'll do anything. And then Anna and Siobhan kiss. And if you guys notice, the audience stood up or they started clapping and stood up to applaud Anna when the two went for a kiss. So I'm not going to throw strays at that kiss either, guys. There's no way I'm going to do that because that shows me that that is when Anna makes her deal with Siobhan. I had kind of wondered before when Anna made her pact with Siobhan, but I guess it's right now when it's sealed with a kiss and Anna's going to give her her baby for an Oscar. <laughs> so we see the next scene is uh, Anna must be like, I don't, I guess she's giving birth because she's screaming in an ambulance and she's wearing the same dress when she and she, when she and Siobhan kissed in the theater. The ambulance is rushing through the city and Nurse Ivy is the driver of the ambulance. And Anna must be tripping hard on that B12 because she sees Babette on the red carpet with her head. It's sewn back on. It's so Exorcist 3 vibes. And... I'm not going to lie, guys. I am hyped. Oh, my God. I'm sure I'll get thumbs down for that. I don't care. But I'm not going to lie. I'm pretty damn hyped after seeing this trailer. Because there's still some questions at least left. And at least we're going to get the answers to those. But whew. anyway, Babette is congratulating Anna on the red carpet. She's telling her congratulations. And then we see Anna on the stage in that big, bougie dress and nobody is in the audience except for Babette, who is clapping up at the nodes bleed section. And you can obviously see that her head has been stapled back onto her throat. So I think obviously this is some kind of a vision. Maybe obviously that's the vision that Anna had before or after she made the deal with Siobhan. Now, the next one takes us back to the restaurant scene where Anna eats the bone. And Anna tells Siobhan that she can't continue to campaign for the Oscars anymore. <laughs> And Siobhan straight up slaps Anna across her face. <laughs> God, it was so great. I'm going to live for that moment. I, uh -huh. I mean, they gave us some really good moments so far in the trailer. and We're only like 15 seconds in. So it was so great. And she tells Anna that she won't allow her to say another word about quitting. And I have to say, Siobhan slapped a pregnant woman. And that is so not watermelon. Now, Cora, the, um, the trailer shifts to Cora telling Anna that she wanted to warn her. And Anna replies, warn me about what? And while the two are having that discussion, the two scenes, we get images of two people that are getting ready for a procedure. It flashes across the screen as well as Addie being murdered by the bad witch cult. Ah, uh, okay. I've, okay, can I just say, I literally, the video that is coming out tomorrow is that, oh, no, it's not tomorrow. Tomorrow is that Anna has dissociative identity disorder. My bad. The video that is scheduled for next Thursday was that Anna killed Addie. And let me go back to these flashbacks in the trailers because it gives you more information. So, um, Addie is literally stabbed by nurse Ivy in her black witch outfit. And Oh my God, I'm, I think I'm going to still put that out because I still believe somehow that Anna joined the cult. I, I still believe she's in there some way, but, um, so that was spoiled. That of who did kill Addie. And we, I think we all knew that the witches killed Addie. So even though it really wasn't a surprise, but to see it already confirmed, I wish that they would have waited to spoil that because I knew it was coming. I think you guys knew it was coming too. But I just, like with Nicolette, okay, I guess let's continue to move and I'll just give you this information after. Okay. 
Now, then we get an image of the Black Witches, who are Ivy, Nicolette, and Sonia, or I guess it could be Addie before she died. But another witch is behind Ivy, and they're like in a perfect di diamond formation, so I can't see who is actually behind Ivy and Nicolette and Sonia. And I have to say, again, that also spoiled the fact that Nicolette was part of the bad witch cult. Damn it, I thought she was part of the good witch cult. And But it makes sense. Okay, because when we get to the part about Nicolette holding the black cat, it's going to make more sense. But um, images flash on the screen, such as where the witches in black surround Anna on like a birthing table. I wrote on here a table, but you guys know what I mean. It's like a birthing table. And then it switches to Anna. She's laying in the street and she's crying. And then it switches to her being surrounded by the women in black before it flashes back to Nicolette asking Anna what's wrong. Now, Nicolette is holding a black cat, and I, damn it, that's her familiar. One of the episodes, I think it was the one where Anna carried the raccoon. She found the dead raccoon, and then she carried it downstairs. Hang on, baby. I know, but let mommy finish her, and then I'll, I'll play with you, okay? Mwah. See, I got my lipstick on you now. <laughs> you go lay down for me. You go lay down for me, please. Go lay down. Cooks, go lay down. Go. Go. What the hell did you do? My wine's safe, so. Okay. Okay, way back in a previous episode when Anna picked up the raccoon and she went into the basement, there was a black cat in the basement. Anna wasn't hungry about it. You know, it didn't, that live thing didn't make her hungry. But I wondered if that cat maybe was a familiar uh, a witch's pet, you know, so to speak. And that would be, or the witch in animal form. That's it. Um, and then when we saw that black cat in the basement, it's the same black cat that Nicolette is holding in the trailer. And obviously they all have familiar. Sonia must be an owl because she gave Anna an owl for one of the baby presents. And so, yeah. It must be how Nicolette, Sonia, and all of the cult members are keeping tabs on Anna at this point when they can't see her. But then again, also Kamal must be with the cult too because he's seen everything that's in the basement. We didn't see anything in the trailer about Kamal, but I firmly believe he's involved. Okay, so then we see a brief flash of Nicolette as a nurse holding a newborn baby girl while the parents are like in the background, the mom's on the bed and the dad is... Um, cons like holding his, talking to his wife. And then we see, um, I gotta say though, real quickly, guys, it's so in my head, MJ Rodriguez does such a fantastic job of being creepy. This was one of the parts in the trailer that I really loved because she did a fantastic job of creeping me out with her face <laughs> right there. I mean, I don't, her eyes, it was all in her eyes. I think MJ Rodriguez is a fantastic actress and I'm so excited to see more of her. That's when in the trailer, Siobhan says, sometimes you just have to break a few necks. While scenes of Siobhan and Anna being kissed on the neck. Oh, sorry. While well, scenes of, there's a scene of Siobhan, there's a scene of Anna being kissed on the neck by Nurse Ivy. And then Anna and Siobhan are in a car giving coven vibes and the stalker tilting her head to the side. When you saw that in episode one, you can see her now in the trailer. It's obviously, it's Cora. I didn't notice it at first, but then when I hit pause to take the screenshot, her face freaking lit up. I don't know if anybody owns Slumber Party Massacre, the Blu-ray, because on VHS and DVD, the face whenever um, Judy was killed was always blackened. You could never see it. But then on the Blu-ray, you could see that it was Ricky's face. And it's like, why is it Ricky? Ricky's not the killer. That's so crazy. <laughs> why are they doing this? Why are, why did they show us that it's Cora? I don't know. I I, I kind of knew it was Cora because in the book, spoiler, the woman that did that was Dex's mistress. So I had a feeling that was Cora. And, and then I think I saw Cora tilt her head to the side when she went and gave Anna the massage. So whew. anyway, um, I, I just 
can't believe they spoiled that that was Cora. And uh, Addie's head being forced into place by hands that are wearing black gloves. I don't know, but I guess before or after Addie is stabbed, you know, she, somebody's forcing her head to be still on the ground. And then scenes of Anna being surrounded by Talia and Sonia. Oh, I loved it. It was such a great scene. It morphed into Anna being surrounded by the witches. And I have to say, at that scene, too, if I remember correctly, it's like somebody wrote on a teacher's school board, Ave Santanas, and, you know, the, the Satan chant. What? Can they not remember their chant? Why do they keep writing it everywhere? I, I'm not a Satan person, so I don't understand. Maybe it strengthens their power. I don't know. But somebody in that cult has got a shitty memory because they obviously can't remember those freaking words because they have to leave them everywhere. <laughs> okay. So um, <sighs> Sonia's words um, after that tell somebody, you seem to think you've done this all by yourself. And then scenes of Anna surrounded by uh, Talia and Sonia morph into Anna being surrounded in all the witches. And then someone cops a squat on a chalk outline of a five pointed star. I don't, I, it, the person's blonde and it's making me think that blaze is right. That maybe Michael Langdon might actually come back, which that theory is coming out next too. So that was absolutely satanic vibes. Um, and also in the trailer, Nurse Ivy uses magic to send a woman reeling back into the wall and coming at her throat. I was trying to see who the woman was, and I'm thinking maybe it's Virginia from a younger time. I don't know if you guys recognize who Nurse Ivy used her magic to send back into the walls. It's an olden time. It looked like a flashback, um, but sent the woman into the wall and then took her by the throat. If you know who that woman is, let me know. There's also another time where I'm going to need you guys to help me find another person that I see in here and I can't see who it is. Okay. Um, Dr. Hill is killed by one of the witches because they have a long thing and they start cutting at Dr. Hill. Uh, Anna is stabbed or sorry, Addie is stabbed in her chest by nurse Ivy. And again, this looks like it's a flashback. So she's in her black witch uniform. Some guy lets out a, br a bloody scream and I think it's Dex, but I'm not positive. Nurse Ivy screams for who I believe to be Anna to push while the witches surround Anna on the table. So I guess they're trying to get her to push the baby. Miss Preacher is escorted out by security while screaming, no, I beg you, which oh, I was kind of wondering about that, but I'm going to think about that a little bit more after this is digested in my mind. Dex opens the door to the bathroom and a tub is filled with red tinted water and the water has overflowed the bathtub and gone onto the floor. Then the trailer moves to Dex screaming, what did you do to someone off camera as he hangs off the ambulance that Anna is inside. And then Anna covers her mouth. Like she sees something horrible. Like she sees somebody die. And I'm wondering if that's Dex's death. So maybe let's see. But Virginia is knocked out by a mysterious person. And with the body and everything, I predict that is Dex. But then we see Dex with blood running from his eyes and like down his face. So I don't know. Maybe some are visions. Maybe some are happening. Maybe some are not. But I am so happy to know that at least Dex is going to die. <laughs> so watermelon. <laughs> Anna tells someone they're a monster. I speculate that's Cora because she's wearing the same outfit and it's the same background as when Cora confronted her to say that she just wanted to warn her. And Anna says, what do you mean? I think it's part of that conversation. Then the um, trailer flashes to Siobhan and Nurse Ivy bringing a, sorry, we get a flash of Siobhan. That's it. And a separate one of Nurse Ivy bringing the knife down on someone. And I assume that's Addie. Siobhan says, oh no, babe, I'm so much worse while images of Siobhan with both Ashley's flash on the screen. And wow, I mean, Siobhan just gives such Maleficent vibes. I mean, literally, she looks like Maleficent. <laughs> I, I, I'm thinking of a theory, but I've already got five that I haven't, I thought I would have time to put out, but I don't. We have two weeks until AHS starts, two weeks. And I have five theory videos, best fan videos, and 
trailer breakdown and prediction for season two. I have at least I have most videos made, but since now this has come out, I can finally finish up with more stuff. But I have so much content. So just understand, guys, that so much content is going to be pumped out in the next two weeks because I had so many theories and it just didn't work out doing it every Wednesday, doing it every Thursday. I should have done it like every Tuesday, Thursday or something like that. But the schedule didn't seem like it worked. But anyway, I want to say that uh, this trailer revealed the bad witches to be Nurse Ivy, Sonia, Nicolette, both Ashley's. And the woman that Anna accidentally killed, I think in episode two, when Anna was in the bathroom, she was at an award show and she was all dressed up like Madonna in that, um, in that beautiful outfit for her video or when she accepted her award. That's right. And this woman was like, Oh, <laughs> that lipstick. And Anna, she was trying to touch on Anna's stomach and she was like, get away from my baby. And she killed her. Yeah, it's that woman. She is in black raven, uh, black deer antler clothes. I could not believe it. I could not believe that she was one of them. Now, I guess I never gave her much thought before. Perhaps I just thought she's just some weirdo, some... Um, Something that it just Anna had. Honestly, guys, I'm not gonna lie. I really thought Anna has dissociative identity disorder. She fit everything, and you'll see my theory video tomorrow. I'm so mad that it really fit everything perfectly. And I thought with NYC being a touch on the 1980s AIDS epidemic, I thought, wouldn't this be fantastic if season 12 touched upon? what is now more generally accepted and that's mental um mental health and i thought it would just be brilliant if they took off of new york city's theme and did the same thing with number 12 and that none of this is real and it's kind of like maybe a real life cindy james if you believe that cindy james had did so i don't know for me personally I, we'll talk about that some other time but that's honestly what i thought was wrong with anna I thought there, that would be so brilliant if they did that this season. Nope. But that's fine. I'm sure a lot of people really don't like that idea, and that's okay. But I just wanted them to do something new, you know? And it looks like they kind of are. So let's see. Let's take some news. Oh, I'm sorry, Blaze. I had you on the whole time. Yay, everybody love Blaze. I love you, Blaze. <laughs> Ryan said, you should make a Discord channel. I've been told that before, Ryan. I guess I will actually try to do that. American Horror News Official. Thank you so much for being here. I can't get over the bathroom lady in the trailer. Yes, I know. She's one of the witches. It is so crazy. Blaze says, I feel like they are tricking us somehow because why would they spoil this much? Okay, exactly. So maybe most of it is like visions. I would think some of it is like flashbacks and some of it are visions, such as with Anna and Siobhan sitting in the theater and Anna telling her, how much do you want this? What what will you give up for it? And she says, anything. I think that's when she made her pact with Siobhan. But again, it really doesn't make sense that they would spoil so much. So again, most of them hopefully are visions, just something that doesn't come true. And real fast, guys, while we're taking comments, I just want to say very fast, I got my first 4K Ultra HD DVD. I don't ever get to buy things for myself, so don't give me shit in the comments. But I got my first 4K. I've had a 4K player and a 4K TV for a little while, but I don't have 4K bl uh, Blu-rays. And I'm not going to go out and spend, that, spend money on them, you know. I was at the bookstore. I had a coupon. She came home with me. It was fantastic. So I'm putting her right here because she's the star today. So um, AHS News Official says the fact that I predicted Siobhan and Anna kissed right before the season even started might be a witch. You know, maybe that maybe the kiss is them waking Anna up from her spell. Because remember, I did think that Anna was under an identity spell like the the witches in Apocalypse when Michael had them in the 
radiation place. You know, down, down, downstairs with Venable. You, you know what? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so yeah, I, and it, I, it, I know Cordelia, and, and we never saw their lips kiss in the trailer. So Cordelia like breathed life into them, and that's how she brought them back. But how do you bring? Because they were dead. So how do you bring someone back from a memory spell? Is it a kiss? Maybe either that's Anna joining the cult or Siobhan waking her up and she realizes she's part of the cult and she's part of this whole thing. So, yes. Uh, let's see. Merman, Eli, Mother Supreme is live. Hope you were doing well. I certainly am. And I hope you are doing great. Thank you so much for being here and for watching. I'm a little out of wine, so I'm going to refill just a little bit. Cookie did knock over the bottle, so thank goodness I had it covered. And yes, I'm having a little Merlot because I'm excited. We got some new AHS information. I'm going to be making some trailers, or I'm going to be making some more videos, pushing videos out faster. So I am actually doing very well. Cheers to you guys. Okay. White Bear Production says, I don't want to imagine how the baby looks like. <laughs> I can't wait for the scene, though, that we see of Anna lying in the pool and having the vision of the baby coming out. And then it, I mean, I'm really excited just to see how this turns and to see where it goes. Uh, Blaze says, I'm getting spider vibes because of all the promo art. I know. Maybe Siobhan and her cult are the spiders because, you We'd have to get into a whole discussion about spiders and how the the behavior of Siobhan and her cult relates to the ideology of spiders. However, I've had a, a little glass of wine and I don't want to think about that stuff. I'm not going to think about anything too hard. So you guys can Google that if you would like. If you want to give me the information, great. I would love to read it. But I'm not going to actually go look right now. So epic plot twist is all made up book from Harry Potter. Epic plot twist. This is all made up. Book from Harry Potter. <laughs> gotcha. Um, oh, I, okay. I got you. Oh, epic plot twist. This is all a book from Harry from Red Tide. <laughs> I got you, right? This is like what Harry wrote. I don't know. Do you think it would, be, I mean, it, it was supposed to be so fantastic that people were like starting to worship him. Like the guy from mother with Jennifer um, Lawrence. I, so hmm. I think Harry would have written something like the Bible or something like something, something massive like that in order to get that kind of following and that kind of um, praise, something, something on that scale. Excuse me. So that would be fantastic, Blaze. <laughs> Alan says, so not watermelon. I love that channel. I Guys, I'm referring, and I'm glad Alan caught it. I'm referring to SimGM Productions. I love their channel. They do um, the Kardashian Sims, and I love them. They just put up an actual new video a couple of days ago, and they have, in my opinion, they are one of the best channels on YouTube. They make fun <laughs> Of the Kardashians, Nicki Minaj, the Nicki Minaj, <laughs> just everyone, and Lana Del Rey and Billie Eilish, and spiritually, spiritually, I have to be in front of them all the time. So go check out their channel. Michael, I'm so glad that you were here. Thank you so much. Uh, Dex, it's actually going to be up next week. I was going to put it out for next Thursday, but then since I realized everything's coming so fast, I have so many videos. I'm just going to start throwing them out. So probably Monday. What if Dex is a wizard, says Blaze. Ah, no more theories. <laughs> my poor head. Oh, my gosh. My poor head has gone crazy with theories lately. You know, especially now that that trailer. Sorry. My hair is kind of sticking to me now. It was chilly and now it's very hot. So it's starting to stick to me. Um. Yeah, that no more theory. I can't go with more theories, but that would be funny as fuck if he was. Um, AHS News Official says, Anna can't trust anyone. I know, right? Alan says, I wonder if we will see the Ashleys again. Well, they are in the trailer, so absolutely, I believe we will see them. White Bear Production says, I think this coven 
could be a different one than the actual Miss Robichaux's coven. Yes, because absolutely it doesn't seem like they follow the same traditions. <laughs> it kind of seems to me, excuse me, that the witches from coven are like good witches. And I don't know if I'd say sexy Scathich is a bad witch, but you know, so if there's kind of like good witches, then there's got to be bad witches. So absolutely. I completely agree. There's a yin and a yang. White Bear Production says, I thank Ball that Dex is that Dex is dead. LOL. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Was he the husband in that one? I should go back and check. That would be funny. White Bear Productions also says, Siobhan gives me some uh, yes, yes, Maleficent Countess energy. Absolutely. Alan says, Oh, I just noticed the Ashleys. Yes. Like I said, guys, I paused every image and screenshotted every single image. And I was going to go over that with you, but Google's not letting me screen share my movie maker right now, which is that software that I have it in right now. So uh, the shot of Anna floating in the pool reminds me of the shot of Shelby floating in the hot tub in the first episode of Roanoke. Stunning. Love both of those shots. <gasps> Ooh, I'll have to go back and see that. I got Roanoke back there. I can see it. Matt Hunter says Cordelia was healing the one witch with kisses like Fiona did with, with Queenie, not ending the memory spell or risen them, I thought. Okay, Cordelia was healing the one witch with a kiss like Fiona did with Queenie, not ending the memory spell. Okay, okay, I got you there. Yeah, that would make sense. See, so I don't know how you would break a memory spell. They've never shown us that you can actually put them under one and that flashes of yourself will rise. So, I mean, it would absolutely make sense that she's under one. And, but how do you break her from it? They, the show has never showed us. Blaze is very you tipsy, probably. Probably. I'm a lightweight and I barely drink. <laughs> okay. So let me get back to reminding you guys. Um, I made way too many theory videos. So I'm going to release the final five theory videos before the premiere of AHS Delicate Part 2. I'm just going to sprinkle them along my channel, along with best fan theory video. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm a little creepy. And my predictions for season two. And I know we got two weeks left to go. And it, it's not much longer, but you're going to be entertained by me before the show starts again. Weekly Wednesday live streams are still going to be here. Uh, my theory titles that are coming out is The Antichrist Returns, Anna Killed Adeline. Anna Killed Adeline. Again, I don't, I guess I can just release it because it's already done and uploaded. But it just kind of feels redundant now because we know that Anna didn't kill Adeline. <laughs> but it doesn't matter for me. It's just the fun of making the theory video and actually trying to find that information and making the video. So, yeah, I guess I will just go on ahead and put it out, which I know I'll be wrong, but. That's fine. Um, so another one is Anna has dissociative identity disorder and Dr. Hill is Dex's father. So, um, yeah, I mean, I've got a lot of stuff coming out at you guys so much. I will be back next Wednesday for weekly Wednesday live stream, the Wednesday after that. And obviously after that, one thing I do want to ask you guys is what are you watching right now? That's, you know, pretty popular. There are things that I am watching, but I don't know if you guys are watching it either. There's some things that I like, but I don't know if you guys like it either. American Horror Story is about to be over. And I don't know. What would you guys like to see me review? If you let me know in the comments, I will absolutely try to take a look at the show and try to get into it and start reviewing it. I really appreciate any suggestion that you guys can offer. Thank you so much. Okay. I will have to um, start ending the live stream. Let me see. Theory is Mary is messing with us and she's indelicate and one of the witches from Miss Mary Booty School for so many water for so watermelon ladies. <laughs> That's good. I'm glad I wasn't drinking at that time. It would have came right out my nose. Speaking of drinking, cheers, guys. All right. Jared. Says, have you seen the teaser trailer for the new Alien movie that dro Really? It's called Alien Romulus and it's directed by the guy who did Evil Dead 2013 and Don't Breathe? Okay, well then I will check that out. 
Yes, because those two movies were, you guys know I loved Evil Dead 2013. I love the entire Evil Dead franchise. They can do no wrong with me. And Evil Dead Rise, I even really enjoyed and appreciated. So I will go check that Alien trailer out. I know there's like, some trailers have dropped for other things. So I will go absolutely check them out. Let's see. Blaze says, I'm excited for new 911. Blaze, I looked on Hulu and I can't see the new season for 911. So uh, maybe I'm missing it. I don't know. Um, Alan says, I'm watching 911, Abbott and Young Shielding, ATM. Okay. Wait, ATM at the moment. Let's see. Um, and Blaze says, yeah, Alan, same. Okay, well, no problem. For anybody who comes back and just rewatches this after I'm done, you can put the comments in there of what you're watching as well. Because like I said, suggestions really help. And I appreciate the one that Alan and Blaze have given me. Thank you, guys. I will definitely do 911. I don't know why I can't see it. Has it actually started already? If it has, I will watch it. But I tried to find it this weekend, actually, this past weekend. And they did not have it. So, missing it. What's going on? <laughs> okay. So, um, again, guys, weekly Wednesday live streams are going to still be every single Wednesday. Um, I'm just going to start throwing things out that I have already prepared and uploaded on the channel. And just good to go. So, oh, yes, it has started. Oh, thank you so much, Blaze. I will see if I can find it. It started last week. Maybe they just haven't put it up. Blah. Maybe they just haven't put the brand new one up. I will absolutely check that. Thank you guys so much. Cheers to all of you who actually attended and stayed through everything. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Y'all are so awesome. Um, I will absolutely check that out because I know I love 911 too. I absolutely hear you guys. Okay. So thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to put out a video regarding the images and all that stuff. So I promise all that information that I just went over, I'll put it in a nice little handy video for all of you guys, but I really appreciate all of you coming here and just chatting with me and letting me know your ideas and your thoughts and what you thought of things. Because again, what really makes this channel fun for me is you guys. <laughs> if I was doing this and nobody was watching, okay, well that, I would, I would still do it, but what really makes it fun is talking with you guys and hearing your thoughts and your comments and what you guys think. So again, thank you all so much for um, what you do and how you support me and, and leaving your information, like your comments and everything. I really appreciate it. Okay. So I'm going to treat myself tonight. I'm going to watch Suspiria in 4K for the second time. <laughs> I only got to watch it once. And I have to say, if anybody is ever thinking about going from 4K, I say do it. The, I didn't realize the big difference that it was from 4K to Blu-ray. I didn't think there, there was a difference, but there is. So now I have to find the Evil Dead in 4K somehow, somewhere. <laughs> um, Blaze is asking, what is 4K? It's the step up from Blu-ray. Um like you can get 4K TVs, 4K Blu-ray players or Ultra HD. Yeah, so it's more higher def than even Blu-ray. Allegedly. But in my opinion, I get I mean it is. I thought Suspiria looked better than anything I'd ever seen before <laughs> on the uh on the 4K TV with the I mean I have all of the um plugs that I need and everything like that. So it's a 4K DVD player. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's really awesome. Yeah. They're expensive. And like I said, I never buy anything for myself unless it's extremely cheap or it's on clearance. But when I saw this sucker right here, I knew that I had to have one thing. One thing. Brought her home with me. I told her, don't worry, you're going to come home with me and be in my collection. And I'm going to love you and cherish you forever because I'm weird like that. All right. You guys, I love you all so much again. Thank you very much for watching. And as usual, beware of sexy scathitch. You know she out there, especially with it being springtime right now. It's perfect time for her to come out there. Be wary of her. Love you guys.